Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 32 When the people saw that Moses delayed to come down from the mountain, the people gathered themselves together to Aaron and said to him, Come, make us gods, which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we don't know what has become of him. And said to them, Take off the golden rings, which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them to me. All the people took off the golden rings, which were in their ears, and brought them to Aaron, received what they handed him, and fashioned it with an engraving tool, and made it a molten calf. And they said, These are your gods, Israel which brought you up out of the land of Egypt. When Aaron saw this, he built an altar before it, and Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow shall be a feast to Yahweh. He rose up early on the next day, and offered burnt offerings, and brought peace offerings. And the people sat down to eat and drink, and rose up to play. Yahweh spoke to Moses, Go, get down, for your people, who you brought up out of the land of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made themselves a molten calf, and have worshipped it, and have sacrificed to it, and said, These are your gods, Israel, which brought you up out of the land of Egypt. He always said to Moses, I have seen these people, and look, they are a stiff-necked people. Now therefore leave me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and that I may consume them and I will make of you a great nation. Moses begged Yahweh his God, and said, Yahweh, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, that you have brought out of the land of Egypt, with great power and a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians speak, saying, He brought them out for evil, that killed them in the mountains, and consumed them from the surface of the earth? Turn from your fierce wrath, and resist the temptation to destroy your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac and Israel your servants, to whom you swore by your own self, and said to them, I will multiply your offspring, as the stars of the sky, and all this land that I have spoken of, I will give to your offspring, and they shall inherit it forever. Yahweh relented, and did not do that which he said he would do to his people. Moses turned, and went down from the mountain, the two tablets of the testimony in his hand, tablets that were written on both their sides, on the one side, and on the other, they were written. The tablets were the work of God, and writing was the writing of God, engraved on the tablets. When Joshua heard the noise of the people, as they shouted, he said to Moses, There is the noise of war in the camp. He said, It isn't the voice of those who shout for victory. It is not the voice for those who cry for being overcome, but the noise of those who sing that I hear. As soon as he came near to the camp, he saw the calf and the dancing. And Moses' anger grew hot, and he threw the tablets out of his hand, and broke them beneath the mountain. He took the calf, which they had made, and burned it with fire, ground it to powder, and scattered it on the water, and made the children of Israel drink of it. Moses said to Aaron, What did these people do to you? That you have brought a great sin on them. Aaron said, Don't let the anger of my lord grow hot. You know the people, that they are set on evil. But they said to me, Make us gods, which shall go before us. 
As for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we don't know what has become of him. I said to them, Whoever has gold, let them take it off. So they gave it to me, and I threw it into the fire, and out came this calf. When Moses saw that the people had broken loose, for Aaron had let them loose for derision among their enemies, then Moses stood to get to the camp and said, Whoever is on Yahweh's side, come to me. All the sons of Levi gathered themselves together to him. He said to them, Yahweh says, the God of Israel, Every man put his sword on his thigh, and go back and forth from gate to gate throughout the camp. And every man kill his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbour. The sons of Levi did according to the word of Moses, and there fell of the people that day about three thousand men. Moses said, Consecrate yourselves today to Yahweh, yes, every man against his son, and against his brother, that he may give you a blessing today. And the next day Moses said to the people, You have sinned a great sin, and I will go up to Yahweh, perhaps I shall make atonement for your sin. Moses returned to Yahweh and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin, and have made themselves gods of gold. Yet now, if you will, forgive their sin, and if not, Please blot me out of your book which you have written. Yahweh said to Moses, Whoever has sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. Now go, lead the people to the place of which I have spoken to you. Watch, my angel shall go before you. Nevertheless, in the day when I punish, I will punish them for their sin. Yahweh struck the people because they made a calf, which Aaron made. 